In the brutal theaters of World War II, a group of men defied the hatred of their homeland to become legends on the battlefield. The 442nd Regimental Combat Team, the most decorated unit in U.S. military history. These were Japanese Americans, fighting with unparalleled valor, even as their families were imprisoned back home, interned by the same government they were defending. The 442 ND's motto was simple, go for broke, and go they did, into the deadliest corners of Europe, where every mission seemed suicidal, but retreat was never an option. Sun Tzu said, in the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. For these men, victory lay in the heart of that chaos, where discipline and courage were their only allies. One of their most famous feats came in October 1944, rescuing the Lost Battalion, trapped deep behind enemy lines in the Vosges Mountains. Outnumbered and surrounded, the 442nd pushed forward. In five days of hellish combat, they fought inch by inch, losing hundreds of their own to bring back two 11 American soldiers. A victory, but one paid for in blood. For their actions, they earned 21 medals of honor, 9,486 Purple Hearts, and eight presidential unit citations. An unprecedented record for bravery and sacrifice. Yet, while the 442nd bled on foreign soil, their families remained locked behind barbed wire. Americans treated as enemies simply because of their ancestry. Sun Tzu also taught, the general who wins makes many calculations in his temple before the battle is fought. The 442nd fought with this precision and wisdom, knowing each mission might be their last. But they weren't just soldiers. They were sons, brothers, and fathers who fought for a country that had betrayed them. Their service was an act of defiance, a testament to their unwavering belief in a better America. Today, the legacy of the 442nd lives on, a beacon of courage, resilience, and the unshakable belief that, no matter the cost, freedom is worth fighting for. The men of the 442nd went for broke, and in doing so, they made history. They fought for a country that hadn't fought for them, and in that battle, they won the greatest victory of all, honor.